Hai Anta Anta Titi Anta It's been a while Um, it's been a while. I was writing exams, so yeah, I had to focus on that. But I'm back now. Back and thank you so so much for subscribing to my channel. I'm so excited and I have seen everyone that has subscribed. Thank you so so much. And my name is Mackie. I am from Johannesburg, South Africa. Um don't know what's going on in South Africa right now. Anyways, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to give you Rick's on a billionaire type of romances and I am excited. This is one of my favorite tropes. It's a comfort read for me. I enjoy it and you know, I think I'm going to be recommending Fifty Shades of Grey then you're mistaken. Um, the men that I'm going to describe here uh, would eat Christian Grey out for breakfast. He would be like a bagel in the morning, I think. I don't know. I'm just making it up. And the men that I'm going to talk about are beautiful, billionaires, brave, and really smart and emotional. And I love it. I'm here for it. Okay. So, without further ado, the first recommendation is Stuck Up Suit by B. Keeland and Penelope Ward. So, at first, I thought I hadn't read a book like this. Um, I hadn't read like a B. Keeland or Penelope Ward type of book, but I was wrong. I was wrong. I remember this book and it was so so good um so it's about this girl she hears a guy talking really loudly and really like mean to someone on the phone while she's on the train and she's like oh my god this guy is so arrogant i don't want to see him and then he ends and he drops his phone so she takes it with her and you know she decides to keep it for a couple of days and then finally she gives back to the right mind and she she goes to his company and he refuses to see her and he's like so rude about it so <laughs> yeah um i really enjoyed it so much um it was really emotional it was super cute the relationship is really really super cute um i enjoyed how they complimented each other they weren't just like he wasn't just like this billionaire that was just like being mean and rude to her all the time it was just a really emotional read and it was super fun and i hope you enjoy it the second book i want to recommend is this man by jody allen malpez if you haven't seen the video that i've already posted i talk in depth about her books and why i like them so much so this one is about a chessy and other so other is an interior designer interior graphic designer she does something in the interior. She designs something. So she has to design his manner. Manner emphasis on manner. And you know, Chessie takes one look at her and he's like, she's mine. I want her. And that's it. And he just has to like go through all these hoops because she's like, no, sir, I do not want you. And he just sees her and it's the first time he's ever fallen in love or in lust with someone and he kind of drives him a little bit crazy. This book is a whirlwind. It's very crazy. It's like a train wreck, but a good train wreck. You know what I mean? Not that a train wreck would be good, but you would love this book. It gets better with each book that goes. So, yeah, just it's very frustrating at first. So just give it a chance and yeah. I'm sure you will like it. You'll like it in the second book. They really do, um, they, you really do see their characters develop. You see them go from lust to this love relationship and adapting to each other's life. And it's amazing. And he's rich and he's super cool <laughs> when he's not being crazy. So, yeah. The next book I'm going to recommend is Fixed on You by Laura Lyon Page. So, this book has four books in it. It's a series, um, just like this man. Um, I really enjoyed this one. It was very beautiful. How can I? Like, it's very beautiful. He's obviously a billionaire, and she just graduated, and he has to kind of date her, fake date her, so he promises, a free, he promises her a free things in return that 
he'll give her money and he will help her with her business and everything and it's just super cool i really enjoyed this romance because she has stalkish tendencies she's a stalker and i really like this romance it's such a comfort read for me they are able to just love each other through everything and it was just amazing to see he protects her he just wants to protect her he wants to make her happy and that's it <laughs> it's just really beautiful i really really enjoyed this read and i hope you will too by rk lily so raise your hand if you've ever wanted to be a flight attendant raise your hand at any period of time even if it was just a couple of seconds everyone wanted to be a flight attendant sometime um so this girl heroine what's her name again brianna i think bianca bianca um she sees him and they kind of get this kind of friends with benefits well not friends with benefits they just so this romance they um they meet in his private jet and she does not like him at all and he does not like her at all but they find each other very attractive so they just decide to like just do the deed and just like not have a relationship and of course they're gonna fall in love duh and this book was really really good i really enjoyed it there's three books in it so all of them are out so it'll be a quick read for you um <clears throat> gone through a lot of stuff and it's very interesting to see him kind of try to deal with her and help her through all of it because she has a best friend and he's in her life and it's just it's really great to see the relationship it's a lot of fun and i hope you enjoyed this book i think you will i know you will actually and the next series i'm going to recommend is a bed to you by sylvia Day. now this one is my favorite 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 series of all time one of my favorites I reread it like almost every year. It's a comfort read for me. It makes me so happy. It's so emotional. There's definitely trigger warnings for sexual assault. So please know that before you go into this book. Um, it's so beautiful. Gideon and Eva are just like relationship goals for me. They are the ultimate. Gideon Cross is my husband in my mind. He is everything I would want in a man. He's just everything he is the richest of rich and they live such a luxurious life in new york city and it's amazing to see the relationship grow and they have a lot of things going up against them but they choose to be with each other even though like society would say it's better for you guys to like not be together so you can heal and grow and whatever but they're like no sir we want to be together and there's no stopping them it's so beautiful um it's just one of the most beautiful romances that i have ever read about one with you which is the fifth book which is the fifth book will always be my favorite romance always 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 um yeah and so last but not least we are going to talk about the miles high club by tl swan the first book is the stopover the second one is takeover and the third one is the casanova now, the Casanova is not out yet, but I'm telling you right now, it will be my favorite romance. It will be my favorite romance. So the first one is The Stopover. It's the heron's name is Emily and the billionaire's name is Jameson. So they meet um, when um, Emily is put into first class and she's just living the good life for the day and she just wants to enjoy it and she sees him and they just have this instant connection they have this instant chemistry and so tl swan's book do have time jumps but like almost all of them have time jumps so the first one does have a time jump they spend a day together well it's like a night and a day half of a day and then fast forward she moves to i think in new york and she starts working at his company but she doesn't know who he is because he never told her who he is um and you get to see her kind of discover who he is and that his company is just the biggest media company and so this book is definitely frustrating they do fight a lot tl swan's books a lot of her characters the relationship is always filled with 
some type of communication error they always fight about something i don't know why but they always are fighting about something and it's nice to read it sometimes but sometimes it just keeps on dragging on and on and on and you're like okay i get it please get over this fight now but i really enjoyed this romance and the second one is people really like the second one and i liked it but not as much i haven't really i think the third one's going to be my favorite because it's more of my stats more of the things that i would like to read but the takeover the second one people really really like it like they they just go gaga over it so the second one is with tristan and claire claire is a widow she has three kids and they kind of have this weekend or oh, week i think this week where they're in paris and they just spend time together and they kind of they don't fall in love with each other because claire's like no ma'am i'm so much older than you i have kids he takes himself into her life and her kids and it's really funny and it's super cute so i think you will enjoy it because i know a lot of people really enjoy this one but like i said the third one is going to be my favorite i am calling it right now i am calling it the casanova is going to be my favorite um so yeah that's all those are the recommendations i have to give for you guys for a billionaire romances i hope you guys really enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite books are down below don't forget to subscribe you have to subscribe okay we need to grow this channel i don't want to be talking to myself all the time okay it's fun but it's not fun okay so thank you guys so much i will see you guys later bye